Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Nature Hike YL08 Moon Chair. Right off the bat, I want to say that I think Nature Hike should definitely work on the naming of their products. Trying to find information on the specific product that you want to buy is pretty difficult because Nature Hike does have other moon chairs that are not the YL08 moon chair, which is this one that I'm going to be reviewing. I bought my chair from Nature Hike Africa, the distributors of Nature Hike in South Africa, and I paid 1,299 Rand for it. It's currently on sale on their website for 1,169 Rand and 10 cents. On the Nature Hike Africa website, they claim that the weight of this chair is 878 grams. I'm not exactly sure how they work out that specific weight. It is made from aluminium, the frame of it, and the material of it is 600 denier Oxford cloth. The maximum carry weight that they suggest on the website is 120 kilograms. That's the weight of the person sitting in the chair. It comes in two different colors, a sandy brown and a dark olive green. I quite like both of them, although my favorite is the olive green, which is just behind me. I'm sitting in the sandy brown one. The carry bag has a YKK zipper, which I think is really nice. And overall, I must say the construction quality of this chair, as I've experienced it, is really high. All of the little insertion points for the poles on the canvas part of the chair and the bungee cord and the aluminium frame itself and the plastic hub that the aluminium frame fits into all seems to be extremely good quality and I have not had any issues with anything breaking or ripping or cracking. Several different people have tried out this chair. We have not been careful with it at all and it's held up really really well in fact i was so impressed with the sandy brown one that we initially bought that we bought the olive green one one thing that i will say is that when you get the chair initially it does take a little bit of strength to get the canvas hammock seat part onto the aluminium frame it's quite a tight fit and that's a good thing because the chair then ends up being quite supportive once you've put it together. But if you have like cooked spaghetti noodle arms like I do, then it might take you a couple of tries to get the canvas over the poles that it needs to go on. I definitely recommend attaching the bottom to points first where the shorter poles are and doing the taller poles last because they have a little bit more give to them but even me with my noodle arms am capable of doing it with a new chair straight out of the box and once you've used the chair it does loosen up slightly not a lot but it does become a little bit easier so included when you buy this chair you get some additional feet for the bottom of the chair which are just sort of big plastic balls that fit over the rubber feet that are attached to the aluminium frame initially and that is to provide a little bit more surface area so that the chair doesn't sink into soft ground. And I must say, I have exclusively been using the chair with those extra round bauble feet attached. Because if I don't, even just in a lawn, the sharper feet on the aluminium frame have a really bad tendency to sink into the ground. Now we have a cat in the review as well. So in terms of actually sitting on this chair, I find it extremely comfortable, but there are a few things that you are going to want to keep in mind. It's got a sort of bucket type seat with a little bit of a recline to it. So this chair is definitely made more for lounging rather than sitting like a dining room chair at a table to eat food. But when I am at a campsite, I generally want to do more lounging than sitting up straight. So I'm okay with this chair as it is. The other thing that you should notice is that the chair does not have any sort of armrests. So for me, it's actually okay. I fit in here okay and I can kind of rest my elbows on the side and have my hands in my lap or put my hands to the side or cross my arms. I don't really have a problem with that. 
But if you are wanting a more cushy camp chair for overlanding that actually has armrests, then this is not going to work for you. There's obviously also no little side table or cup holder, no bells and whistles. This is a very stripped down chair to make it very lightweight. That is one of the really good features of this chair is that it is extremely lightweight and it packs down really small. I can't do a comparison with a regular camping chair because we don't own any regular camping chairs to show you the packed size, but the packed size is really small and it's actually pretty easy to fit into a backpack. Ralph has taken this chair that I'm sitting on right now on a backpacking trip and he absolutely loved it. He had no issues getting it to fit into his backpack. So this chair also has some ventilation built into the sides, which you can kind of see here. It's a sort of mesh on either side of the chair. So that ends up being on either side of your bum when you're sitting in it. And it does actually work pretty well. We've taken this on camping trips and a backpacking trip where it has been pretty hot. And I don't feel sweaty and sticky when I'm sitting in this chair at all. As you can see, when I'm sitting in this chair, I cannot help myself. I just want to rock backwards and forwards, I think because it is in a sort of bucket seat recline position. And I was quite worried that my ability to do that, to rock backwards and forwards slightly, meant that those plastic hubs on the aluminium frame were going to break. But that hasn't happened at all. And as I said, we've had several different people sit in this chair. I've seen quite a few of them also want to do this slight rocking motion. And we have not had any issues. It really seems to be robust enough to take quite a bit of abuse. All in all, I think if you're looking for a very lightweight, very packable, very durable and well-made chair, then this is a great option. It is a little bit more pricey. You can wait for sales to come on like the one that they have currently, but I think that this chair is actually worth the price. It is so small, so lightweight, so easy to transport, and it is really good quality. That's why we now have two instead of just one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, then you can click on my channel name to see videos that I've made in the past, or you can subscribe to my channel to see videos that I'm going to make in the future. Cat, what are you doing? You're going to fall. Cat, you're gonna fall off there. Can I help you here or something? Oh, but I don't want you to attack my hand, that's the thing. Are you just having a good time up there? Are you just having a good time up there? Hello, hello. He's a good cat. He's a good cat. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Here we go, there we go. Okay, okay. We're all good. We're all good. You are so naughty.